<laughs> Medicine Craver! Oh, 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 for God's sake, I treated you not to talk, Mr. Pritchard. Why didn't you not knock? Actually, I did. Oh. But you never heard me. I, okay. I apologize, really. Okay, pardon me, dear. Oh, this coffin drives me away, you know. Oh. Well, what did you call me for, Mr. Pritchard? I'm really sorry to interrupt you, Medicine Craver, but I wonder if you could give me a hand with my next class, could you? Of course I could. How can it be useful? Well, by delighting us with your piano and singing skills on today's subject, which turns out to be the musical notes. Madam, I want to find a graceful way to introduce the subject and explain the whole thing. Graceful? Yeah, I, I'm afraid it will sound horribly boring talking about pitches and all the technical stuff. Oh, perhaps I should come to someone else to help us do it. Can you think of someone who's lovely and graceful enough to do it? Actually, I can. Really? And who is that? Charming person. The giggly girl, of course. Oh, oh sweet little giggly girl is walking her pathway into the woods. When she comes into the hall, there is a flight of stairs. Wait, wait there a minute. What in other staircase is doing in the woods? Wow. Let's say someone is better to reach an upper floor over the trees. Seems to be the one. Okay, good. Hey, very well. She's walking into the woods when she finds a flight of stairs, which turned out to have eight steps. That staircase looks crooked, Mr. Crouchett. Yes, it does. Actually, it's very realistic, because you can hardly find straight, aligned and level things in nature. Very well, well then. Eight steps, you said? Just like the musical notes? Precisely. Our charming girl begins to climb the stairs, and turns out that it's a musical staircase. Then, amazed by the musical staircase, girls and playing, stepping up and down, noticing that the higher she climbs those stairs, the higher is the pitch of the sounds. To think, Mr. Crochet, the keys on my piano look like those steps in that staircase, don't they? Y yes, certainly they do. Each key represents one of those steps. When pressed, they let out a defined pitch of sound. But note that in nature the pitches are indefinite. What we humans do, we organize and put names in some of them, so we can use in music. Now, would you please play those eight notes for us, Madame Some kind of C, do you see? Yes, sure. a C note, but as far as I'm concerned, Mr. Cratchit, notes can have different names depending on the country. Isn't that right? I'm glad you mentioned, because notes, it, the notes indeed have different forms of being named. And this, believe it or not, has something to do with religion. Religion? But how come? Well, I'm afraid you cannot go further on that subject because it's on Professor Basclef's behalf. Professor Basclef is the history teacher, by the way. I mean, this may include history knowledge, and he's the head of the department. Nevertheless, I just can say that those places grown in Catholic tradition, we always use Do, Re, Mi, Fa, Sol, La, Si for notes' names. Oh, good lord! I'm not curious about the origin of the notes' names. Will Professor Besclef give us a lecture on that later? Well, I'm, I'm sure he will. In fact, I've seen him plenty certainly about it earlier today. Yes. Well, uh, now if you please, Madam Sankwever, I would like you to play all the notes again uh, but now singing with both Catholic and no-Catholic names, because both of them are equally important nowadays, right? Positive, Mr. Crutcher. Here you are. C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, C, B, A, G, F, E, D, C, D, Oh, 
much, Mr. McRaven. That was wonderful. Thank you. And I think now you're ready for the next class. Which will be on... Half Steps. The Black Keys on your piano. Oh, <laughs> wonderful, Mr. Crutchet. This lesson was so delightful that it would surely click and thumbs up icon if I were that lovely person across the screen. <laughs> we hope you liked it. And stay tuned for the next video. Bye.